Rail cars will soon be going into service on some metro lines, and there's more changes on the way. Good morning, Washington. Sam Sweeney is live with what's next. Hey, Sam. Hey, Ashley, we are marking a milestone with Metro. Five years ago, I stood out here talking about the new 7000 series rail cars coming online for the first time. This has been a process a decade in the making. Well, today, the 748th last and final 7000 series car will roll in here to the Greenbelt Metro station. Take a look at this picture. This is coming uh, uh, from us from Metro. This is a picture of that last car on a truck making its way from Lincoln, Nebraska to the Greenbelt Yard. It took several days. It left on Saturday. It's a more than 1200 mile journey. That is a $2 million rail car that has really changed the way Metro has operated over the last couple of years. Since these rail cars have been brought online, Metro's reliability combined with all the other processes they've taken over the last couple of years has brought the reliability up to 92%. So they've made a huge stride and it's replaced a lot of those old cars. You remember those ones with the carpets? Well, they are now all gone. And this last rail car, well, it hopes, the Metro hopes that it'll be online within the next five to six weeks. It'll be here around 10 to 11 this morning and our Tom Rousey will be here for its arrival. The next set of cars will be the 8,000 series cars in a couple of years. Reporting live in Greenbelt this morning, I'm Sam Sweeney, ABC 7 News.